The English are terrorizing all of Scotland, and it's time for us to fight back. But if we are to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now right-click near the blue flag. Good. Now move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right-click near the flag. Excellent. Now to move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Moving into the black area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go to the next flag, where you will meet some allied soldiers. Kid, bid fear. Margaret, tall. Avalon, Margaret, tall. Bid fear, Margaret, tall. Avalon, tall. Avalon, tall. Kid, Margaret. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move them. Try moving your soldiers to the next flight. Did all your units make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Now scroll back down until you can see your soldiers again by moving your mouse to the very bottom of the screen. Select your soldiers by clicking near them and dragging a box around them. Keep following the road to the outpost. It's time to knock it down. Right click the outpost to attack it. The outpost is destroyed. That should slow the English raids. Keep following the path to the village. Home sweet home. But wait. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack the village. Don't panic. Just click your soldiers and right click the red English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you'll have won your first battle. Good job. Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge. Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops. You have found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food. So send them back to your town centre and assign a villager to gather food from them. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. Keep making villages at your town centre until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. You can specify a location for new units to gather by setting a gather point. For villagers, click the town centre and click the set gather point button. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. An English outpost. You know what to do. Knock it down. Kid. You are close to the English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Hit, 
with fear. Good job. You have eliminated the English soldiers. Now, destroy that tower and our victory will be complete. Great job. You have destroyed the English camp. Okay. The Battle of Stirling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages, and find and fight your enemies, you have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game. The most common type of game in Age of Empires 2. The Scottish army has been rallied by recent victories against the English. The situation is starting to look up. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic, and the English have captured a third. You can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Good. You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by right-clicking the monastery. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in the monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. Kid. Farms are a good source of food once you have exhausted forage bushes and animals. Farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt. To gather food from a farm, click a villager, then right-click a farm. It's nice to have allies on the map. Your ally, the yellow player, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. To trade, you will need to build a market. You have reached your ally's town. Go inside to see how his city is doing. Your ally's gate will open automatically for you. Welcome! If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Did you know that there are three different modes for the mini-map in the lower right corner of the screen? You can show only military units, or only resources, and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the mini-map. Here. 
Oh. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created them. You can have your units move to a spot once they are created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. You now have two relics garrisoned. Bring back one more and you will be victorious. technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen to see the tree for your civilization. Congratulations! You have captured all three relics. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. If you have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold in the market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age, the Castle Age. The advanced buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes nearer. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons in the lower left corner of the screen. Using the advanced buttons, you can also command a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. have enough resources to go to the castle age. You should do that soon. The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit, such as a monk.
Hit. Airlock. Pull. Pull. Wait. Target it. Hit. Pull. Airlock. Go go. Go go. Target it. Airlock. Gun cock. Hit. Pull. Go go. Go go. Hit. Hit here. Target it. Pull. Wait. Hit. Go go. Airlock. 